and we are back again to do some more cleaning on the food trailer. Uh, we really have this side cleaned up really, really well. Now we got to work on these refrigerators, freezers, and this sandwich bar, which has another video all to itself because we've had some issues with this sandwich bar, and there'll be a video out about that. It actually quit working on us, but my good buddy, the Retro Ben, got it working for us, but we still got to get it clean, and we have it unbolted from the wall, and wait to see the mess that's up under that that we got to get clean. But either way, hope you enjoy the journey that we are on with this cleaning process. Uh, and it has been a journey, and it has been a process. So, we're not going to talk a whole lot about it. Let's just get right into cleaning. Quick, quick overview, real fast. If you haven't seen our previous videos, we started out cleaning this hood right here. And we went down to this griddle, the burners, and the fryer. And the last video we put out was steam table in this warming cabinet. But now, we have to tackle this big refrigerator and this freezer right here. Let me look in here and give you an idea kind of what we're looking at here. So yeah, it needs a good, good wiping out. As you see, the door here, just everything in it. I mean, good cleaning. Will not hurt this at all. Let's look in this freezer real quick. Yeah, it needs a good wiping out also. As you can see on the door here. Now we do have this thing the food trailer plugged up all the time. So, we get to run these all the time. Now this here is what we just had to fit the thermostat in. So I'm in the middle of getting this adjusted right now. Getting the temp adjusted where I want it to be. Around about 34, 35 degrees right now. But we do have some ice build up. So we're still working with the temperature on it. But anyhow, oh, and oh, I need to show you this. Yeah, see how nasty that is down there in the refrigerator part down here? So yeah, they need a good, good scouring. And so what better way than to start off with some hot soapy water? Uh, we're kind of leery about spraying that real harsh cleaner in this side of, inside the refrigerator. We figured we'd just try this Dawn dish detergent, some soapy, hot soapy water in here. Let's see if we can wipe off with that. coming off pretty good. Now we did go ahead and turn the refrigerator off while we're doing this because there's no need in trying to cool while it's running. Or while it's open I mean.
as you can see, it's getting kind of warm in here, plus more fumes and a lot of stuff getting on the floor. So we did open up the back door back here. Hey, we got access to do it, might as well have it open. It's kind of cool things off in here a little bit too. Time to work on this freezer now. said earlier we have unbolted this sandwich cabinet where we can move it out because we have to replace the thermostat in but y'all look at the mess that we found under the floor when we unbolted it and moved it out of the way pretty nasty ain't it now a broom and this dustpan did come with the trailer but it wasn't dirty so Here's that. Now, just in case y'all have been wondering, because I never have really thought about it, but how is all this equipment mounted? I don't know about other food trailers. I don't know if this is normal or not. It's like a big erector sitting back here. Get you a look back here, and you can see. They have everything bolted to these railings right here. All, all the way around. So yeah, that's actually what's holding all these appliances in place. And to be honest with you, that is very, very sturdy. So I've always kind of wondered, you know, how things don't move around as you're going down the road. Trust me, nothing in here has moved yet, and you see why. Now that sandwich station out of the way, it's really a lot easier to get to the side of this freezer where a lot of this just nastiness is too. We can kind of get behind this on too. Figure while we can get to it, we might as well clean it. As we're washing everything out toward the back door. Anybody want some french fries? I got some trays I can put them in. I don't know what else is left on there. There's a can left under there too. I'm to get up under there and try to get I guess get the broom and try to scoop all this out. Hey, there's a cannon lid. Well, 
Well, we got some more trash out. All that was up under the warming cabinet and the uh, refrigerator and freezer areas. So none of that trash under that sandwich station, all this was up under the other appliances too. Well, that's pretty much gonna do it for this cleaning. We got the refrigerator and the freezer and uh, underneath all them appliances on that side cleaned up. Now I did leave the back door just kind of cracked open right now to kind of just let everything dry. But you see it's still wet. Uh, but yeah, overall, these things are a lot cleaner now. Just gotta clean the racks. They're out there, but uh, it's getting late and we gotta go cook supper. But yeah, these are looking so much better. So, so, so much better. And as far as this sandwich station goes right here, I mean, we still got to clean it. Uh, as you see, it's pretty nasty in here. Look right there. Got a lot of cleaning to do on it. Uh, but we do have a thermostat back working. Like I said, that's a whole other video and that's paid about that. Yeah, we still got that to do. But it's looking better overall around here. So that's a good thing. I mean, it's another step closer to being done. Our refrigerator and freezer wasn't near as bad as some of the other stuff we've tackled on here. And as we move along, we're learning, we're, we're, we're progressing. And I think that's the main thing is we are learning from this. It's a learning process by, by a long shot. We're learning a lot. But it's a good thing that we're having to do all this instead of just jumping in and not knowing anything. I'm learning how the appliances are bolted in. I'm learning how they're working. Uh, I learned how just the different nuances of the equipment itself, which is very, very important to know. When something goes wrong, I don't know how to kind of diagnose it or look at it or move it around or whatever I need to do. So not only is it, we're getting it clean, I'm learning as we go along too. So that's a main, main thing that's really helping us out too. So anyhow, I got to get off here, go inside and cook for the kids. Thank you, Mr. Beast. Thank you, Shopify. Uh, you've been a, such a huge help and such a big part of making this dream come true. We're working hard at it. Won't be long. We'll be slinging burgers out of these windows right here behind me, and I hope to sling one towards you. Anyhow, if you're in South Carolina, look me up. Food trailer may be set up near you somewhere. With that, we got to get on out of here. Hope you enjoyed it.